Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how we make our version of nachos. It's very simple and I hope you guys like it. Here it goes. Thank you. So we got um, some ground beef cooked already and we got some steak cooked already. Chopped up in pieces. Here we have some nacho cheese cooking right now. And over here I'm doing the rice. Now for my rice, I added some, I added some vegetable oil. Now I'm gonna throw in the rice. Now I do not do measurements, you guys. I just eyeball everything. So now I'm gonna add some onion powder. Gonna stir it up for about a minute. Add a little more onion powder. As you can see, I used the tomato bouillon for my rice, lori salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and then I used bato sauce and one can of tomato sauce. There's an um, eight ounce can. All right, so now I'm gonna start adding my bouillon. So I just added some tomato bouillon. I'm adding some Lori's seasoned salt. Now I'm adding some garlic powder. So I'm going to stir this up. Okay, so now that I have it all stirred up, I'm going to start, I'm going to go ahead and add the pato sauce and the tomato sauce. Then I want to fill each can up with water and fill um, fill the pan up about halfway. Well, maybe a little more than halfway, you guys. I'm sure most of you know how to make rice. I just eyeball everything, as you can see. But I just need to add two more cans of water. Then you guys want to cover it up as soon as you guys um, are done cooking. Then put it on low heat and let, let it just cook until it's done. Ignore my dirty table, you guys, but I made some salsa. It's just tomato, onion, um, serranos, cilantro. And I made, um, I just smashed up some guacamole. And I'm about to mix it all up. Now you guys could add a lot more of um, avocado, but I really don't um, think we need too much for us. So you add some salt and pepper to your liking and just some lemon into it. And that's what it looks like, you guys. And it is so good. Next, you guys want to um, rinse your cabbage and cut it. So I got a small little head of cabbage in that I'm going to cut up now. what it looks like when it's all done as you can see I tried to get it as thin as I possibly could you guys but here's our cabbage now I need to put it in a bowl so this is refried beans I just added milk to it I buy the canned one I buy the Ro, rosarita traditional and then I just add milk to it sometimes I add cheese but we have nacho cheese today so I don't need to add any so here it is you guys 
Look at how dirty my stove got just from cooking, you guys. <laughs> okay, so in my family, we like to use tostitos instead of the nacho chips. Uh, we just find it um, better tasting with the tostitos. So I'm going to show you how I layer this. So I have a paper plate here. Just going to layer out our chips. It doesn't matter how how it um, looks. Okay, so there we have it. Next, I'm gonna put um, some cheese on this, a nacho cheese. Okay, so it's not too much cheese, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna add the refried beans to okay, it. Okay, and I'm not a big fan of refried beans in my nachos, but so I just only use a little bit. Next, I'm gonna add my rice. Okay, and then next I will add the meat. Now I'm gonna add more cheese on top. And next, um, you wanna add um, your salsa. I like a, a lot of salsa in mine. And then um, you can add cabbage. I'll add a little bit. I don't really like cabbage, so I'll add a little bit. There we go, there's our nachos. Now all you gotta do is eat it. And get a little bit of everything here. There we go. Mm. You guys? This is so good. Sorry. <laughs> so it's really good, you guys. You guys have to try this. It's delicious with those titos. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so there you have it. That is our version of nachos. Um, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have any recipes that you would like to throw my way then i'll be glad to go over them and maybe try them sometime because i'm always looking to find something new to make for my growing family <laughs> thank you